This is where all the magic happens. This is uh, uh, Ray Goodwin's uh, palace. This is his field of boats. <laughs> That's where he sleeps. That's where I sleep. I don't yep. get to come in the house. <laughs> I think the last time I was here, the chickens were in the house. All right, what are you getting organized for? What's going on today? Um, we've got the Welsh Canoe Symposium, which starts tonight. I'm the main organizer. No, wait a minute, Colin. What was the question you asked Ray today? Have you done, have you done any of these before? <laughs> yes, eight of them spread over 20 years, <laughs> which is why I'm looking tired at the moment. We've got 170 people there, coaches, trade, participants, general hangers on. Some Canadian fellows come across apparently to do something. It's about time someone came professional. Yeah, absolutely. But I don't think it's this fella, to be honest. <laughs> so I'm just uh, finally just throwing stuff into my car. All the paperwork's done, and we'll be off to the uh, to Bala very soon. This is how they live in Wales. Uh, their uh, their roads are small, their houses are small, and their character is very big. So what's this guy doing? Is he the leader? I'm the leader. He's called at me. Where, where, where is he taking you? To the lake. lake. I see one. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> That's as far as we've got. What are you doing on the lake? I don't know. What are we doing on the lake? Getting very wet. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> very wet. <laughs> like it's flat water. You're doing the flat water. Yeah, but in the little white water canoes, we're doing some flat water stuff this morning. In a white water canoe. Yeah. And you're the leader. I'm the leader. <laughs> so when you do white water, you're doing a flat water canoe. It's an intro for people that have never been anywhere near little boats before. And, but they're going to get wet. They're going to get wet. Tandem cruise down the Tram today. Is that a river here? Well, I think so. <laughs> Sometimes they turn the little taps on and water comes out this kind of big concrete kind of ditch somewhere and then it kind of moves around. Hey, it's Wales. It's a little rocky ditch. It'll be all right. I have one of the leaders here. Uh, he's uh, doing... What are you doing? Uh, we're going down to Horseshoe Falls on the D. Going to be... We're in, we've split the group into two, so one of them is going to be led or leading and the other group is going to work on technical skills. How many people you got going? We've got 29 of us. And you're going to bring 29 back? Yes, hopefully. <laughs> so what are you doing? Um, I'm going on the lower terrain. Yeah? Hopefully. Is that a full day or half day? Full day. Yeah? And, full day. And why? Why? Because uh, I'm a glutton for punishment. <laughs> I'm doing the advanced fire lighting. It's not called advanced fire lighting, but it sounds good. So when there's smoke, I'll come over and... Yeah, do yeah. that, yeah. 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 Who, who's doing that? Is it... Uh, Paul... Spoons, this is Spoons. Ah, that's right. I was drinking with you hey, last dude. night. Yeah, I know. We did have a little drink last night, didn't Just we? Just a wee little, yeah. yeah. A few nips. Yeah. Yeah, is that all right, yeah? <laughs> Just randomly around pe filming people, are we? Uh, yes. Yes, yes that's, that's right. right. But, but you're lighting fires, are you? Yes, we are. We're yeah. lighting fires, yeah. And do you want to come and learn? I am going to, yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Why is it called advanced? advance because we, what we're going to do is get two canoes rub them together and that's how we're doing fire by friction so yeah very advanced yeah it's the english way of doing it so <laughs> i thought we rubbed two canadians together yeah, rub two canadians <laughs> together yeah. that's a totally different workshop yeah. <laughs> okay we're gonna go and do tandem with dave who you've just been talking to oh you're in that one we're on yeah. that one yeah we're in that one there's rumor that people will fall in the water maybe Good. hopefully not us <laughs> It's like a portage, you, you know, you can always say it's not as bad as before. Yeah. 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 Um, you know, we're looking at see if there's any dead sheep as well. Yeah. That's a feature. Dead sheep. Dead sheep? Yeah. They don't swim very well and they fall in the water and then they drown. It's a bit sad really, but... Just when you think you've done every interview in your life, <laughs> you start talking about dead sheep floating around the water. This is what happens in Bali. Yeah, 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 yeah. A, you know, you know the river's been up if, there, if you pass a sheep in a tree. I'm going to have a go in these silly little boats with these crazy people and uh, see how uh, OC1 keeps me afloat. That's what I'm going to do. What about you? I'm going to uh, film you falling into the water. I will fall into I won't uh, disappoint. I, I will oblige quite happily. Total mixture. It's uh, a lot, lot of people uh, in from the, the perhaps the older end of the spectrum. But it's always lovely to see. Uh, we've got a couple of uh, families here this weekend. So uh, parents that have actually brought children along, and, and the children are actually in on the workshops with them. So 
you know, it's actually bringing it into a, a, another generation, which is great. That's you know, what it should be. And you're not burnt out uh, volunteering all this time for? No. <laughs> you're, you're new. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the Silver Birds just you're checking just... out the Squiff offering. Oh, are you really? Yeah. <laughs> We're complimenting other boat manufacturers in their we're Just, just checking out the weights, the alleged weights. There we go, on camera. One finger. You you basically uh, manufacturers come here and just show their their boats off to everybody. Is that how it works? No, uh, no, we can make lighter. Of course, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we so uh, we're here with um, Piranha and we've, we've got Venture Canoes and we've also got brand new Squiff Canoes in the country out of T4MX. Um, they're the first T4MX boats in the country which is pretty exciting. It's looking lighter and tougher than Roilex, um, using the same moulds. Um, other manufacturers are picking up the material as well which is looking really good. Everyone's really happy. So it'll be exciting to see what happens now. So that's the whole thing right now, everything's changing with the material? Yeah, so because um, Roilex is no longer available the manufacturer stopped producing it so a squiff have been chasing it and producing a whole new material specifically designed for canoes for canoeing so um it's looking really good really tough and uh, yeah everyone's gonna be able to have them soon it's good and have you seen uh, uh changes in, in powers themselves are, are they looking for different boats or uh generally they're looking for durable and light boats you know, with a with a good price. So there's been lots of changes with kind of triple layer core light boats, roto molded um, plastic canoes, um, making those lighter and they're at a good price. So having high end boats as well at the uh, fairly reasonable price. So basically the panic is over now of people not getting panic, ABS. Panic's over, T4MX is here and it's uh, ready to take over. Hey! So what are you guys out in the water on stand up paddleboard? Stand up right? paddleboard, yeah, yeah we, we stay very dry as you can, you see. can see. Apparently it's a dry sport. But, but uh, this, this might be sweat that's permeated through my suit. I'm not quite sure. Did you fall in? Uh, just a few times. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Someone thought it'd be clever to teach us how to do pirouettes on the board. And then trying to stand on the back of the board and spin it, not happening. <laughs> Was it uh, hard to get back on? Uh, no, it's just like getting back in a canoe. Yeah. <laughs> Come out of those often no. enough. <laughs> oh no, oh, no, I should admit to that. I've not been this wet since White Wolf Safety and Rescue. <laughs> Gentlemen had a bit of an issue with you out there. Yeah. You promised that you would they would stay dry. Yeah, and they and they're they're dryish, they're dry on the inside. They seem fine to me. <laughs> Did you do it again? Absolutely. But without him? No, no, he, he tells me all the stupid things to do, so why not? <laughs> Gotta be done. Next time you'll stay on the board. No, no I won't. <laughs> stay no. all right next time. No, not a chance. How was it? Good. Yeah? Yeah. Did you get as wet as everybody else? Or you? Yeah. <laughs> That's excellent. <laughs> what, what? <laughs> what, what do you want to know? What do you want to know? <laughs> How was the activity? I'm hiding. <laughs> I'm I'm was safeguarding the subs. Oh, is that where you, oh, you're doing the? Yeah. The, in case then, someone fell over. Yeah, not really. Just just pedaling around to help them if yeah. necessary. But did anybody fall over? Everybody. What did this man make you do? Uh, polling. A bit, oh yeah. A bit further. I wanted to take part of that. You're the polar? No. Oh, you're not the polar. I wasn't with him. Oh, you're with another. No, I had a proper coach. Was it good? <laughs> it was. It's very good. Yeah. Yes. It's totally different technique, eh? Just yes. Yeah. It um, learnt different ways of doing it rather than what we'd already been taught. So it's always good to get a different opinion. And so you're the gentleman from Ireland that makes paddles. I am. Yeah. I am. We're from Down Creek Paddles. And uh, what started you doing this? Uh, Making paddles to go with a homemade canoe, I think, was the start of it, and we've been woodworking for oh, we've been woodworking for years, and it just got us back to working with really nice timber again, you know, and a tactile, a nice tactile product to come out with at the end of the day. So, I'd say it started as a hobby, and then people said to us, you know, God, you could sell these, and it's gone from it's gone from there. Um, Ray Goodwin's been instrumental. I sent him demo paddles early on and he gave us great feedback and wanted to try more and wanted to work with us in terms of developing blades and he's been instrumental in getting us out of the kind of hobbyist and into a kind of a, a business 
a young a young small business and we'll see where it goes from there so there's still a lot of paddling in Ireland then? There still is. It seems to be it seems to be a growing scene there as well and interest now is starting to blossom in the likes of the freestyle and in terms of the canoe sailing as well. The kind of slightly more niche elements seem to be on the up. So it seems to be kind of they're embracing all elements of it in Ireland at the minute and uh, no the scene seems to be pretty strong there. What's my favourite paddle? Yeah. I, of our paddles, my favourite paddle is one of our own paddles. It would be the, probably be the Big Dipper. What's that? And we have high, it's a beaver tail, traditional beaver tail shape, inspired by the Canadian paddles. And it's I would say the Big Dipper is the one we've developed with Ray Goodwin on the blade, and we've now got the new white water version. Which, if I could get my hands on it, it's it's proven quite hard to get my own hands on my own paddle this weekend because we only brought one demo one with us. But um, it's looking very positive for that paddle. So high hopes for that. Okay, so you're retiring soon, and you have a plan of paddling around. Around the UK, yeah. yeah. Why? Because uh, it, it's not been done, and why not? So yeah, that's why. <laughs> <laughs> it's a challenge. It's something to do. It will keep me out of trouble, or it will get me into trouble. Yeah. I have him, Ray. Ray Goodwin. Uh, he's a organizer of it, and he's just too busy to be interviewed. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Right, I've got to go, Kevin. Somebody's just waved to me, and you know I'm far too busy to just do things. Just stay there no, for, no, a minute for no, one question. No, right, one question. Okay, so you've been doing this for 19 years. Uh, well, I the first one was 19 years ago, and uh, very small affair. But then it was alternated with the Scottish Symposium, and now the English Symposium works with it as well. So I only get to do this every three years, which is fantastic. So next year, I don't have to think about it. The year after, I have to start thinking about the date. And then the final year, before mine, then I can worry all year long about it. So it's, it's great having the rotation and just having a break from it. So what do you get out of it? What's the carrot in front of you? Um, it's really odd because as work, I've really d taken my work down to be just me as a coach running the groups and I rarely employ anyone else I don't want the hassle but I just felt that the, the country needed some some big event where a lot of coaches a lot of participants a lot of activists would actually end up together and talk about canoeing and do canoeing things and you know we've got we've got OC1 specialist whitewater canoes we've got traditional canoes on grade three white water today we've got people rolling canoes we've got sailing canoes we've got the lot so we stop seeing our particular bit of the sport and we start seeing it as a much bigger affair we don't allow the kayakers on this though you've got to draw a line somewhere the f all right the festivities are almost over uh this is the afternoon of the i don't know there's a wee bit of dram whiskey last night <laughs> i was like i don't know where i am you were talking about how living in this country was like when you were a kid Yep, it was wet, cold, just like it is now. <laughs> <laughs> if you're letting a child play with fire, is that of proper? Yes, of course it is. It's in a controlled environment, so it's very safe. <laughs> Do you feel controlled and safe? Ah.